Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. Uh, let us look at another interesting application of least squares and that is in the context of polynomial fitting or polynomial approximation. So, another very interesting application is to develop is in the polynomial in the context of a polynomial fit that is to give in a set of data develop a polynomial approximation for this functional polynomial to develop a polynomial approximation right or you can th think of the, uh, this is essentially polynomial fitting. So, essentially you have y equal to let us say you have a functional relation that is unknown y equal to f of x, uh, but f is unknown let us say this function is unknown. Okay. f is unknown and uh, for this function we develop obtain a polynomial approximation obtain a polynomial So, we would like to obtain a polynomial approximation for this function uh, that is we want to approximate y as f hat of x which is essentially a naught plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square plus so on a n x raised to the power of n all right so this is your polynomial of degree n right so this is the polynomial nth order polynomial or polynomial of degree n okay so how do we develop and of course, now if n equal to 1, if the degree is 1 then it becomes a linear fit which is what we have already seen in the linear regression right. So, for n equal to 1, if n equal to 1 this becomes a straight line right, it becomes a straight line or essentially a linear model. this becomes a straight line or a linear model. Now, let us see what we do is now given this how do we approximate this. So, we have y 1. So, how do how to find the coefficients now the question again is how to determine the coefficients how determine the coefficients a naught a 1 so on up to a n start again to so to determine a naught to determine a 1 up to a n consider once again 
your training data or the available data where you have y1 equal to and then you have again you have y1 x1 y2 which is essentially f of x2 right you have y1 and you have x1 you have y2 you have x2 so on you have ym you have xm once again you have the m you have the m training points right and uh, now we want to model y each y as y1 we want to model this as y1 equals a0 plus a1 x1 plus a2 x1 square plus a n x1 n plus epsilon where epsilon is the this is the modeling error right so this is your model error and this is the polynomial approximation this is the polynomial fit and once again you can write this as y1 is equal to 1 x1 x1 square so on up to x1 n times the column vector a0 a1 so on up to a n plus psilon and this you can call this as x1 bar transpose and this is essentially your vector a bar and this of course is the model error let us call this epsilon 1 epsilon 1 ok and therefore i can express or i can develop an approximation for y1 as y1 equals x1 bar transpose a bar plus epsilon 1 right similarly for the training point y2 x2 i can develop the approximation y2 equal to x2 bar transpose a bar plus the error 2 right so you can write y2 as x2 bar transpose a bar plus epsilon 2 so on and so forth and finally you can write y m equal to x m bar transpose a bar plus epsilon m and now again stacking these as a vector the vector model can be developed as we have y1 y2 yn or rather y1 y2 ym this is equal to x1 bar transpose x2 bar transpose xm bar transpose times a bar plus you have the errors epsilon 1 epsilon 2 up to epsilon right so this is x this is y bar and if you look at the matrix x this has an interesting structure this will uh, where x you can see the matrix x is composed of the polynomial is composed of the terms 1 x 1 x 1 square x 1 n 1 x 2 x 2 square x 2 n so on 1 
x uh, m x m square so on x m raised to the power of n. So, this is the structure of n, this is the structure of the matrix a, uh, x. Naturally, you can clearly see this is a matrix which is of size m cross n plus 1 that is the size of this matrix. So, therefore, that gives us the model y bar equal to once again our favorite model or our by this what should be well known to you x a bar plus the error right. What is a bar? a bar contains the polynomial coefficients a bar contains the polynomial coefficients. So, we have this and uh, now once again you can determine a bar as the minimum as or the argmin as the rather minimizer of this cost function y bar minus x a bar square right. So, you can write this as a hat to distinguish this the minimizer of y bar minus x a bar square all right. So, this is your once again you can see least squares in action and by this time we will know that the solution is given as a hat equals x transpose x inverse x transpose y bar. So, these are the polynomial coefficients. So, these are the coefficients of the nth order polynomial. these are the coefficients of nth order of the nth order polynomial fit. So, that is essentially how the least squares can again once again be used uh, in a practical context to fit a polynomial develop a polynomial approximation right or essentially you can also think of this as a nonlinear approximation to a given set of responses. So, once again you have these independent variables that is x 1 x 2 x 1 the x's and you have the dependent variable or response y and you are developing sort of a polynomial approximation for the response based on the input data or the explanatory variables all right. So, once again least squares can be used for this application all right. So, let us stop here and continue with other, other related concepts in the subsequent modules thank you very much.